Now that we're all sworn in, we can focus on the experiment at hand. I told you earlier this was a live theater experiment, and right now it is mad science time. It really is. It is weird science time. The thing is, we have recently been through a big evolutionary step. We were like a hermit crab that crawled out of its shell, wandered over, got into this really big shell. We freaked out and we've, we've successfully sort of moved into this new bigger shell. And now like a Lovecraftian horror, we've sort of simmered. This is a really bad analogy. <laughs> yeah, because I'm about to talk about tentacles reaching out. <laughs> Which is the next phase Thank you, thank you. The next phase we're, we're entering is where we start to reach out and we start to reach out to new people, new communities. We talked about this earlier a little bit, the idea that you bring your friends here or you reach out to a new group and say, hey, you people should really come to this thing. That's kind of where we are now. You guys are doing, you've been doing an awesome job because I watched the postcard stack shrink and new people come in the door. And first of all, give yourselves a big hand for that because it's a lot of work and I really appreciate it. The thing is, while you're doing that, I'm sort of working. I wear the hat and the funny pants, so I've got to work on the slightly hat and funny pantsier level. It was, again, not a good analogy. I didn't really think that through. But I'm working, I'm working behind the scenes. I'm working on some stuff. You're going to see uh, sort of the, the, the fruits of that labor going into next year. But I think when you get on a path that you're going to grow, things organically come to you. It's just something I believe in. I've seen it happen here plenty of times. I need something, and it just, it just shows up. It's the magic of this place. I, I got asked recently if I'd be willing to, on, on behalf of the show, be interviewed by UTD's uh, student magazine, student newspaper. And uh, I actually sat down with them uh, this weekend. And uh, one of their photographers is here. Hi, how you doing? Hi. And, and, and thank you for coming out for that. We're, we're actually going to be uh, getting some photos for that, for that article. And as well, I sat down, like I said, for a good long while and talked about the show and talked about the circus freaks. And in doing so, the first question that always seems to come up is, explain you, Russ. Okay, you guys know me, so you understand. Those of you who don't, just look. This comes with some amount of, of you've got a, you got a preamble somewhere. So I found myself without ego, but just in the hopes of getting to the point of talking about the show, laying out the details of how I went from, you know, an, an angry artist to a circus performer and how I, I helped be a part of all of this stuff. And as I told, you know, what is essentially my story, which is, you know, coming out of a, a crashed career and being very angry and, and growing and finding something I loved and getting passionate and just building and building and building, I watched the person I was sitting across from, the interviewer, light up. And it, something occurred to me that my life story is kind of like superhuman and cool. <laughs> I, got, I got excited. I was telling the story and I was like, hey, this sounds like good stuff. Some of these lies are even true. <laughs> you know, and, and it kept growing and I, and I told the story and then I kind of plugged it back in and I talked a lot about the show because what came out of that was everything I had been working on was about we started out, you know, this little juggling club, and now we're this show and the circus troupe and everything else. But it was about continuously raising my bar. As I went along, other people helped. The thing is, you know, I, someone would teach me a new trick or, or show me something. Or I went to clown school. I did all these things that would raise my bar. But I had to go pull myself up and climb over it to get to the next place. One of the things about this community that amazes me is we're allowed to evolve. We sort of encourage self-evolution and risk and, and the reward for it is you get to stand up here and cheer about it and you guys cheer for it and it's, it's amazing. The thing that I had really explicitly spelled out to me though was I had to go back to the beginning of this journey for a second and really see it crystal clear how far, not me, but we have come. We have come so far. Four years ago, no piece of this, not even the little juggling club out in the park existed. And we've gone from that to multiple events a week, a big show, a monthly meetup, being recognized internationally for our efforts in circus, having a trained circus troupe. Thank you. I think it's impressive. <laughs> I get going. I'm excited and I just blow through. But the point of all of that was simply this. We have come so far that new people that are sitting here and looking, you get on this train, it's going to go amazing. If we're on the same trajectory, which is over the rails and off the cliff usually on Mondays, but the rest of the week, 
you're going to see amazing things. You're going to be a part of something really, really, truly amazing. And for those of you who've been on this thing a bit longer, I've been here pretty much since the beginning. Thank you for coming with me and keeping me company on the ride of my life. Thank you so much.